So what happens when you put music and money together? Financial success. We are failing our kids when it comes to teaching them good money habits, but Gooding, a singer songwriter and founder of Funding the Future, has figured out how to change that and is joining us today on our coffee break to share the two most important things kids need, need to know to be financially fit in the future. Gooding, thrilled to have you join us on coffee break today. Thank you so much for having us. And Sybil, we think the world of you, you are one of the earliest believers of the program and what we're trying to do with the charity to, uh, as we say, music makes the medicine go down to use these uh, big wild rock and roll live events to try, to try to teach the kids some things that we wish we would have learned when we were their age. Well, I hear that a lot. People want to know, if only I knew that as a child. So how do I teach that to my children? So first off, why don't you explain what's your approach to teaching kids about money? Absolutely. Well, we start out with a full-on concert. Now, with COVID, we're working now for a virtual show. We built a soundstage, green screen. We're getting all that together. But we went around. We were in, uh, came up to Canada a few times. We were, we've done, uh, I think, 26 states here down in the U.S., reached 175,000 students so far. We put on a big concert. Just, I mean, everything you would find at one of our shows if we played a festival or, or a theater or anything we do anywhere. But the trick is that we show a little film of some of the other famous people we've, you know, met and kind of try to show everybody, hey, you know, we've been doing this for a while and it's working out really good, but we wouldn't have gotten here if we didn't understand some financial literacy. And without that financial literacy, we get in trouble real quick, especially musicians, actors, athletes. And we just try to explain to them that even a band is still a small business. We still have to understand. I'd say the, the main two things. Yeah. Would be saving. Um, not only just to have something that hopefully you can get some interest on and be an invest in yourself, some compound interest. I think we call it an IRA down here. What is it up there? R an RRSP in Canada. R yep. And, you know, kids can sit down here. I know they can start about 18. But the other reason to have money put away is if you don't, at least in America, it's only half the people have anything for an emergency fund or a rainy day. And <gasps> it's we, so bad. It's so that's bad. That's pre-COVID too. And as you know, you know, as the mom and pops are, are having a hard time, I don't think that number is going to get better, you know, soon, but it's going to get better someday. But I, I like to tell them that because I've been there. I've had the problems. I didn't know what a credit score was growing up. I didn't understand my credit cards till I maxed them out. And if you can get ahead of that stuff and you have that money saved, it's not just about money. Um, if you've got control of your finance, you've got more control of your life. And I don't think it's, uh, people ask me like, why you guys, it was a rock and roll band talking about this. There is nothing rock and roll about suffering and struggling and people around you not being able to depend on you because you're always in, in trouble. And I just don't want kids to lose hope because we, we don't have control of our money. We can lose hope real quick. No, and what I love about your approach is you capture the kids' attention. I mean, the kids love oh. the music. They love the rock and roll. They love the performance. They're engaged. Um, you've got that credibility. They look up to you. And then when you finish the concert and then dive into here's the lessons learned and, and the kids are now open and they're listening. I, I tell you, if I get up there in a pinstripe suit and talk to the kids, it's nowhere near as exciting no, as hearing so from you know, a musician. <laughs> you're very kind. We get away with a lot because we got the microphone and we got the stories and we got the PA and Music, I mean, music is bigger than us, too. It just, it's something that brings people together. I'm so lucky to get to work in a job that I feel like brings people together. And you do that all the time on the show. I've watched it, you constantly just trying to, trying to do something for everybody. And that, that's what it's all about. That's music to my ears, believe me. Well, so you mentioned there's two things. So number one is savings. Kids need to save. Savings, yeah. Save, 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 because you need that rainy day. But you also need that money to buy the things that you want to buy in life. So saving is key. What is the other, what's the second most important thing you think kids need to know? You know, it really comes from that savings. If you can get to where you, you have enough that you don't, that you've got an emergency fund, that you don't face a day that you're taking a really bad loan. Because ah. that's happening younger and younger. I've even been in schools, high schools in America, where the same day lenders, the, the, um, the predator, I don't know what they're called up there, but I mean, I know, I know they're everywhere, where they're taking ads in the little high school newspapers. Like the oh kids are not even 18 yet. So anyway, not to get on the negative thing, but I think they just need to understand how interest works. Because if you yeah. get, you know, most people don't have enough money to go out and just buy a house for $3,000. But if you've got a good credit score, if you understand your money, if you're saving, you're going to be able to get the things you want, pay it off. The banks need you to work with them. They're going to treat you great. But if we don't understand that stuff, we go to these predatory lenders, somebody disreputable. Man, I, people are paying And they charge a fortune. 
it's unbelievable. You, I mean, you, you miss it. They're called rollovers. As I'm, I know you know all this back and forth more than me. You know, I've seen people after a couple of months of missing those payments, and they're never going to get back to the principal. It's they're just only, spiraling down. It's bankruptcy. It's violence. It's a, it's a lot of bad stuff. So, and they set up where I won't keep ranting on this, but they set up in the places where people are already struggling. So, you know, I know if yeah. I see like a liquor store and a concrete block and a light out when I was living in LA, I know there's a same day lender there. Cause you know, people are having a hard time, but if we could get that message to people, regardless of whether you're doing well or not doing well, I mean, there's kids with a lot of money that if they don't understand money, it's going to go away. But if we can get that message out there, I think everybody's going to be, be doing a little bit better. I think if every kid knew that save yeah. and avoid bad loans, you're set for life. That's the fundamentals. You brought so, it together perfectly. That's it. Yeah. I want to know where people can go to listen to your music. Um, yeah. What are some of the places? You were very kind. I'm going to give you a couple of them because I just put out a, a brand new record last week. Kelsey Cook, Aaron O'Neill and I, my band, I love them. They're amazing. Um, it's free on Spotify. It's on SoundCloud, Apple Music, almost anywhere where you can stream music. Great. It is free. Go check it out. Check out Funding the Future Live to the charity. Yep. And I'll give you five seconds of it right here, just in case you don't make it over to the stream. I love Latin music, so I'm going to play on this old Rakito guitar. There we go. Oh, that's fantastic. Gooding, you're awesome. And for our viewers out there, you can also check out our kids and money resources at thewealthylife.com. And that's our coffee break. See you next time. Thanks, Sybil. Thanks, Gooding.